Hello everybody. Uh, this is my uh, basically a tool that I'm developing uh, with my spare time. I spent about a few hours on this, maybe two to three, maybe three to four actually. I'm, I'm on the higher end of the timeline on this. But I spend a little bit of my time using the knowledge I've been acquiring over the, the few uh, months of learning Unreal to develop a tool that I think people can use to help them you know, paint from basic geometry. And this is just a teaser trailer of just to show how it kind of works. But it's absolutely free. Uh, I'm building a Gumroad slash cells where you can just go and grab it for free um, with donation and, you know, encouraged. But I don't think this is a tool that necessarily needs to have some cost. At least as of now, it's very low end. But maybe in the future when this thing becomes really big, um, maybe. But I mean, even then, I don't think it's important. Um, so this is kind of how it looks. Uh, I just reset it, like for whatever reason, I'm like off in a different part of the world. But you know, you have some real time lighting using the powerful lighting engine in Unreal. Uh, you can set up your scene and like learn how to paint some basic geometry. And I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna be updating this with cast models uh, and statues. But as of now, it's just really like bare bones, simple. And even I'm gonna have it so that you can arrange the or like randomly arrange the the objects in the scene. But right now that's like more complicated than I need it to be. Just just right now it's simple. Very simple. Uh, you can change the materials. Like you see one is for the cone, two is for the cube, three is sphere, four is cylinder, five is the platform, and six is to reset the materials. And you can see there's different kinds of materials you can toggle. It just You just keep pressing that number. There's no way to kind of keep it going back and forth. I just wanted to keep it really simple. Maybe in the future I'll make something where you can actually just click and it'll go back and forth. Um, but like I said, this is free, so it's, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. At least you have a tool that you can use. Um, and here's some of the better features where you can actually toggle the daylight. And it's uh, pitch and yaw, so you have to figure that out for yourself, but that is what is happening. This is affecting the pitch, and then this is affecting the yaw of the lighting setup. You know, So you can set up like however you want the day time to be. Change materials again to whatever you want. You know, let's just make that matte, and then make the platform red. Uh, I don't have uh, dynamic reflections or indirect lighting yet. That's working, uh, not working to my to my standards. Uh, the light reflections toggle seems to. Oops, the light reflection toggle is not uh, working either. But there's like a few bugs, like I said. But right at the moment, it's mostly everything is working. You can hide the HUD if you want. You can full screen, which I'm, I'm not going to do right now. And then uh, you can set the sky brightness. Maybe the sky is too dark, or maybe you want it to be brighter or darker. So you can get a little bit more natural looking light set up. You know? And again, you can change the material. And I have a few materials. Again, I'm gonna as I go on, I'm going to change it so the materials options are way more dynamic and you have a lot more to choose from and uh, also remove that glare man that glare is intense unless you want to paint that it's more it's very natural right that is what would be happening um or at least i could just make an option so you can turn it off right but like i said this is like me doing a few hours of work building this tool for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it um uh, yeah and uh have a fun time just at least flying around the world you know what in the world is going on and then things are disappearing so hope you guys enjoy and uh peace out